Chicago, a lot happens overnight. You wake up with new questions every day. What kind of temperatures can I expect today? How bad is the traffic this morning? We start our day early so we can get you the information you need all day long. Weather, traffic, and all the news you need. Up to the minute, the minute you're up. NBC5 News Today, weekdays starting at 4.30. Time for weather and traffic on the fives now. That's right. We want to get an update on that breaking news story, this search that's going on in Lombard and Glen Ellen right now. Let's get to Matt Rodewald, who has the latest on what's become a foot pursuit. Matt? Steph and Daniela, police in the western suburbs are following a burglary suspect through the Lombard area. They have streets closed at Main and St. Charles and along St. Charles, just a little bit to the west of the uh, downtown area in uh, Lombard right now. A lot of activity as they are looking for this burglary suspect. We understand this all started in Wooddale, found its way down to Lombard where the, uh, uh, the, the burglary suspect uh, crashed his vehicle and then let, uh, fled on foot. So that's the situation at this point. As far as the activity goes, you can imagine a lot of local streets aside from just Maine and St. Charles are closed. And we're going to keep you posted on that with all the details. Otherwise, all the expressways seem to be OK from a traffic standpoint. Tollways are looking good. We'll get a deeper look at those as we get to the top of the hour. In the meantime, let's check in with Andy with the forecast. Andy, good morning. I'm Daniela Guzman and I'm Stephen Holt. It's Tuesday morning, July 10th, 2012. And we start this half hour with breaking news. That's right. Here's the very latest. We first brought you this story at 430 Lombard Police. Search for a burglary suspect at this hour. Police say the suspect crashed a vehicle and took off running. And they're now searching the area between Main Street and Old Route 53. They think that the robbery may have taken place in Wooddale. Let's go right to Matt Rodewald in traffic now where streets are closed off this hour. Matt? Daniela, you have to wonder how long that uh, the pursuit was from uh, Wooddale down to Lombard. They're not really near each other, but we have streets still closed in the downtown Lombard area, just a little bit to the west of the downtown area on St. Charles between Maine and stretching out towards Route 53. And again, police are in pursuit of what they uh, call, call describe as a burglary suspect from the Wooddale area. And if they are on foot, they are really localizing that search and having streets closed aside from Maine and St. Charles, some of the neighborhood streets as well. If you're in the area, just stay inside. Also, you can see the this yellow line here. This is the UP West line, the Metro line that runs right near St. Charles Road and pretty much right alongside. Now, Metro has not put any official delays out there, but we're keeping an eye on it to see if anything changes here in the next couple of minutes. Now, as we get to look at the forecast, let's check in with Andy Avalos. Hello, Andy. Good morning, man. Top to a very I'm Mike Lorber live in Sky 5. Let's update you on the top story this morning. Lombard police on the search for a man on the loose, a burglary suspect from Wooddale that was involved in an accident at St. Charles in Finley earlier this morning. When we first arrived on the scene about 15 minutes ago, we saw police towing away that vehicle. They had St. Charles Road shut down between Finley and Maine. That is since been reopened. As you heard Anthony talking to the police chief a few minutes ago, they are looking for a suspect that may have been involved in a burglary involved in that accident in St. Charles and Finley and then left the accident on foot. So police will be around the area. They do have the roads open. We'll have more information on this breaking news as it becomes available. Matt. OK, Mike and Chief Rollins also added that if you see someone in your neighborhood that doesn't belong there, give them a call. And uh, just to kind of give you a recap of everything, this ended here in the area of Maine and St. Charles, but it started all the way up here in Wooddale and came about eight miles south, uh, zigzagging their way through here. And that's where the pursuit ended up right to the west of downtown Lombard. Again, we've been watching the Metro lines just to see if there are any sort of delays as a result. There's nothing related to it, so everything's moving along fine. If you're coming in west of here, say Elburn or Geneva or even West Chicago, there shouldn't be any delays as you're traveling in towards downtown. Now, 355, that's looking okay as we head back to traffic and talk about that. You can also see the extension here on 290 moving along just fine. All of your expressways are checking in nicely and the tollways are doing just fine. And we'll have a full rundown of those travel times coming up for you in the next couple of minutes. Let's check your forecast and say hello to Andy Avalos this morning. Hi, Andy. Good. Comes out here as we scope out 355 rolling through the western suburbs, whether you're down south in the uh, Bolingbrook area, all the way up north here, north of Lombard. No problems on 355. Route 53 looking good. Eastbound 88, you might find just a little bit of traffic as you approach the Eisenhower this morning. Matt? 
Okay, Mike, thank you very much. We'll take a look at a couple maps just to show you what's happening on 55 way out west here. As you head on in towards downtown, you can see it's pretty quiet at this point. You should have a, maybe a little delay here or there, but otherwise it's uh, okay as you're traveling most of the way in towards uh, at least 355 and on your way up towards the tri-state from there. Fly on in, show you what's happening on the main line of the Stevenson Expressway, and you can see the slow pockets are starting to develop as you're traveling in towards downtown. We'll ride along here and just a little bit too close at this point. You want to spread it out just a little bit if you're heading uh, in towards downtown and watch out for the horns there. But otherwise, it does open up once you get past Cicero and it will back up. You can see a little bit of yellow up here as you get closer to the Ryan. We'll widen out just to show you that delay real quick and you can see everybody's backing up real quick heading in towards that long ramp to the Dan Ryan Expressway. Look at times real quick because we don't have a whole lot on the Edens and the Kennedy which is good news there but the Eisenhower and the Stevenson building about 43 minutes into Lakeshore Drive. Dan Ryan Expressway building as well. 18 on 57 hitting the sun when you hit the turn in Lakeshore Drive at about 15 minutes. That's a look at weather and traffic in the fives.